Hi, my name's Simon from Motodrome, uh, which is www.moto-drome.com. And today we're going to have a look around this uh, 2006 Land Rover Defender 90 TD5 XS station wagon uh, in black, black interior. Highly um, sought after model these days, especially with, uh, as this one, um, having only done 94,000 miles with uh, really quite good history, it would appear. Anyway, hope you like it. Any questions, obviously you can reach me via our website, which is www.moto-drome.com or you can ring me on 0118 907 1495 for any more information. End. So as we said, this is a 2006 Defender 90 TD5 XS station wagon, finished in Java black with uh, anthracite half leather interior and uh, dark tinted windows. Um, no checker plate rash on this one. It's also got uh, black boost alloys fitted with a matching set of five General Grabber um, 235 tyres on it. It's got the proper excess side steps, mud flaps all round, um, KBX light surrounds and grille. Stainless steel bolt kit fitted to this one. Um, it's got wind deflectors on the uh, front doors, NAS rear step with integrated tow pack and then inside I think it's generally pretty standard even down to the original Land Rover Radio CD so it's got heated seats, heated screen, um, air conditioning Right, let's walk around and pick out a few good bits and bad bits. Really, not much in the way of bad bits. It's really super, in my opinion. Um, it's obviously had light guards on the front at some point because you can see where the, uh, the grommets have been filled in when they've been taken off. Um, but it all looks quite uh, nice and tidy around the front end. Obviously, bear in mind, being black, it does show every mark possible. And there are a few chips just up here on the, um, on the slam panel. Um, but otherwise, Bonnet and wing tops all look pretty good. It's just a couple of swirl marks where we've just polished it there. As I say, black does show every mark, especially solid black. Looking down the near side, it looks very, very straight down there. Near side front wing all good. What's that? Oh, there's a tiny scuff just here on the near side front eyebrow, which I hadn't spotted before. Just there. It's about the only sort of real serious blemish on it. Well, it's not really a serious blemish, but it's about the only blemish on it show you inside the near side front wheel arch. Near side door is all nice, a couple of scratches on the modesty cover there, that's one of the reasons people fit checker plate, because they do get scratched and the paint does come off of the modesty cover, it's just from people getting in and out, but they're the latest style Puma doors, so uh, they're not the, the type that you know, the frames rot, so we don't need to go through those. It's fully carpeted inside, Got these nice defender tread plates on it. Start at the back, look at the headlining. Headlining generally very good indeed, starting to bow very slightly in the middle but on a 14 year old one I think that's pretty normal really. Um, passenger seat, a couple of marks on the leather here on the near side but otherwise all good. Tiny bit of wear on the cubby box lid just there. Still got its leather trim steering wheel. Dash is all in nice shape and say fully carpeted this one. Doesn't smell damp inside or anything. Carrying on round, near side rear wing, all nice. We've just got a tiny mark just there on the back of the near side rear eyebrow. Again we'll look in here. I think this one's also got wheel spacers on it as well. Um, yes, it has got 30mm 30 30 wheel spacers on it. Um, around the tail end, let's go inside. Got full map there um, rather than carpeting in the back. All the rear seats look to be in good shape. 
clear door card, it's got a couple of minor marks on it, no more than that. Looking down the offside, again looks very straight and tidy down there. Can't really find much in the way of electrolytic reaction on this one, which is highly surprising giving its age. I'm sure, ah, oh, a tiny bit just up here, just in the roof gutter, just along there. Um, I knew there'd be some somewhere. wheels are in good shape and say so general grabbers all round offside front door as always so especially on the driver's side the modesty cover has lost a bit of its paint just there from people getting in and out and there's a couple of scratches on it but again that's why people fit checker plates and modesty covers offside front wing a couple of small scratches just here just in front of the indicator repeater Unusually, the screen blocks haven't lost their paint, although possibly been repainted, the screen blocks. Possibly new, new screen blocks, in fairness. Uh, screen rubber looks to be pretty new. Looks all good all around there. And then in here, got a small split in the vinyl on the driver's seat just there. That's best way to um, to get rid of that is to change it for the passenger seat base because they're interchangeable completely but um, we'll just leave that there again okay, tiny bit of wear on the cubby box now this one's also got a secondary immobiliser which is a proximity one which I haven't quite got the hang of yet but um, with a bit more familiarity I'm sure it'll be fine um, yeah, there we have it. I really like this. It's a lovely example, in my opinion. As I say, late TD5s, especially in black, uh, excess station wagons are getting really quite sought after now. So, this is it. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. We can go to our website, which is www.moto-drome.com for any more info. End.